using a 10 millimeter wrench, we're gonna go ahead and loosen that nut and remove the negative terminal on the battery. Using an eight millimeter socket, or you can use a flathead screwdriver, I'm gonna go ahead and start disconnecting the clamps and hoses to remove the intake unit here. So we'll start by loosening these. Then the engine cover, just kind of pop that up. And you wanna go ahead and get to this hose clamp right here and loosen that. Now using a 10 millimeter socket, we wanna go ahead and remove this bolt right here. And take that bolt out and set that aside. We're gonna go ahead and pull the intake tube off of the air box here. That's loose. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up on this. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up. Separate this unit. Okay, now I'll go ahead and pull up on the engine cover and put that aside. All right, next you wanna go ahead and grab this tube right here and pop that off and set that aside. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the ignition wires from the ignition coil and the spark plug. Uh, this here is marked for cylinder one, two, three, and four. Uh, you can tape them or you can just zip time together and put them aside as long as you know that they go to the correct location. I'll go ahead and just twist that, pop that off, and then pull that, set it aside. Repeat the same for the next three. Once these are all disconnected, you can collect all these and just swing them over to the passenger side. I want to go ahead and press on these little tabs right here, pinch and pull. These are your injector harness connectors and do this for all eight cylinders. I'm gonna go ahead and connect or disconnect this this here and pull this tube off the back side of the intake and just pull it all forward. Next we're going to want to go ahead and remove the series of the eight millimeter bolts that run down each side of the intake. So the last bolt is a tough one to get to. It is down behind the back side of the fuel rail. If you can follow the extension down, uh, there is the back bolt mounted there. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that. You're gonna wanna run a vacuum up and down each side of the intake manifold to collect any debris, leaves, anything like that. Uh, because when we lift the intake, we don't wanna have any debris falling down into the engine. All right, now what we're gonna try and do is lift the intake and we're gonna try and just prop it up. We don't, we're gonna try not to have to remove it completely from the vehicle. I'm gonna just tip this up and we're gonna use a small little box right here just to wedge it underneath to support the intake, like so. Now, if you happen to lift the intake and you see debris like that, uh, you're definitely gonna to wanna to go ahead and run a vacuum in that, clean that up as, much, as best as possible and then we're gonna go ahead and remove that sensor. Now this particular sensor we're gonna be replacing is right here. This is one out of four sensors that, have, that uh, are located in this area. If you need, do need to replace one of the rearward units, you're probably gonna to have to pull the intake off the rest of the way, but in this case here, we're gonna go ahead and access the forward mounted one, and we'll go ahead and use that using a 10 millimeter socket and remove the single bolt that is holding that in place. Reach right on in there. Go ahead and just twist that out as you're lifting it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this connector from this just to get out of the way and use a thin flathead screwdriver and you can kind of get in there and give yourself some leverage to try and pop that up and out. And go ahead and remove that unit.
Now we did apply a light coat of oil to the O-ring seals here. I'm going to go ahead and line this up and press it down into the engine. All right, once we get that lined up, go ahead and get that bolt started. And we're going to use that bolt to snug this up and pull the unit down inside to the engine. Line that connector up on that, clip it on, and then press that red lock tab in until it snaps into place. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lift the intake slightly, remove our little block uh, box there that was holding that up, and lower the intake down into position. Once the intake is lined up, you can go ahead and start threading in the bolts by hand, and go to the opposite side, make sure that one lines up and then start threading that in. And just continue your way all the way down on both sides. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is once you get everything snugged up, your next process is to torque them to 108 inch pounds in a crisscross pattern starting from the middle outward. So you're gonna start in the middle here, cross over here, come to the front one, go back one on this side here, come back up front, crisscross and come back here, tighten this front one, back one, and snug them all down. Take your injector harnesses, line them up, and press them down until they snap into place. And do this for all eight. Oh, and don't forget to connect this temp sensor right here. Line that up, slip that on. Go ahead and slide this harness back up and over. Don't forget to hook up your vacuum tube right here. Go ahead and put your little tabs on there. There's one here and one on this side right here. All right, well, installing the air box here, there's a metal post right here that's going to insert into the bottom part here. And then we also have a connector to go to one of the uh, intake temp sensors right here. So I wanna go ahead and get this connected. We'll line up that connector, snap that on, and then we're going to go ahead and try lining up the bottom. While you're doing this, we also want to pay attention to the uh, portion here, to the air box uh, and the filter. So you have three different things that you're trying to do to get lined up. Sometimes I'll just run a pick on the inside here just to get these little nubs around get that popped on. Now you have a 10 millimeter bolt that goes in the back side right here. I want to get that started by hand. Snug that down. Using your eight millimeter, we're going to go ahead and tighten up the hose clamp here. I'm going to go ahead and snug up the two of these. Cover, slide that back in underneath. Line that up and press it down on top of the mounting studs. 